G'day, in today's video I've got an Acer Aspire 5 and this particular one, if we have a look here its model number is N20C5 also known as A515-56-3789 as you can see here and this particular one if I can remember the specs off the top of my head we are running an i3 and we want to upgrade the hard drive in this one from the small 256 gig hard drive it's got to something a bit more usable, so a 500 gig and also hopefully be able to upgrade the RAM so I'm going to be using a standard Phillips head screwdriver and begin to take out all these screws so luckily for us I don't believe there's any screws that are hidden and these screws are coming out nice and easily, they're not getting stuck in there like some brands do. Granted this is a completely brand new, just out of the box, hasn't even been turned on machine. So all these screws right now, all of the same length. I'm very happy when companies do that. So right now every single screw is identical. Next up from here, I'm going to be using a plastic pry tool. You might be able to use a bank card. And I'll look for somewhere to pry. I reckon this edge here looks good. So I'll push into that gap and lose half my nail. No. Try it at the other end. There we go. So that got me in there. That's a point of entry. Now I'll just be able to drag this around. A bit of lifting here, and hopefully that will pop it. No, there we go. There we go, and we're in. So with that, what can we see? If you excuse my message tone. What I can see from here is a couple of different things. One included in the packaging itself is this here, hard drive screw upgrade. So that is in the original packaging. These screws are fairly common with most machines anyway. And we'll be able to use this hard drive caddy here to either expand or add more storage to it. That I'm not really concerned about. We go over a bit further. We have a single fan, we have the i3 chip here with the integrated graphics, removable fan, very straightforward to remove, two screws and a connector. We have a wireless card which could be upgraded. Going along here we have a single sodium, an empty sodium. So this here is your RAM slot. So first of all, I'm going to disconnect the battery down here. Which looking at it, we have a 51 watt hour battery. 53 depending on where you read. I'm just going to get my fingers on either side of this or my nails on either side of this connector. Let's wiggle it back. There we go and we have one disconnected battery. It is recommended to do that if you're going to replace the hard drive or your RAM. Some people may even say for putting in this drive over here, the 2.5 inch drive, but I'm not going to be too concerned about that. Now So to begin with, I'll put in the RAM. So right now I'm going to be putting in a pair of SK Hynix, 4GB, once I get focus on there for you guys, 4GB uh, PC for 3200. So installation of that's very straightforward. If I tilt this forward, we'll be able to install it that way. It just slides into the groove, just kind of sits here. And then all you should have to do is push down. This here and here will click over it and that will lock it into position. So if your RAM's looking kind of like that, you probably got it installed just fine. Next up, I want to replace the SSD that's in here, or the NVMe SSD. Don't know if this will support MSATA, wouldn't even bother nowadays. As you can see, similar to the RAM, it's now sitting upright. So from there you can wiggle it backwards, just left and right. Just 
pop out like so. So this particular one that's in here, what brand are we? Uh, not too sure. Oh, there we go, Samsung. PM991, it's a 128 gig model. So a bit too small. So we want to up this to a, probably go to a 512. This is what I'm going to be using. And installation of that is very straightforward as well. Take out the existing. And as you can see, we have a single notch here. And we want to lower it in, stick it in on an angle. Like so. Gently push forward. You should notice the gold pins will disappear. Once they've disappeared, you should be able to push this down. Hold it down, then just put in your single screw. Now you can use a much larger screwdriver than this, but this is just the one I had in my hand. And now I've got that done. So right now, I have changed and added, I've upgraded the hard drive from a single 128 gig SSD to a five or 500 gig. RAM has been upgraded from 4 gig of integrated RAM to 8 gig, hopefully running in dual channel, so that should get a nice performance boost. And then the other two upgrades you could potentially do is your Wi-Fi card. I'm not sure what model, we've got a MediaTek. I'll hold this up for you guys. A MediaTek MT7921L. So I'm not overly familiar with that model. Typically the go-to wireless card is an Intel AX200, a Wi-Fi 6 slash Bluetooth 5 card, that one. Also looking from the repair side of things, if we do get a damaged charger port on this particular model, it is quite heavily soldered in. So that would require a full mainboard removal. Granted this mainboard is pretty tiny, but that is also in a 15.6 inch body where I'm used to seeing these in a pretty much a 14 inch style of, or 14 inch size. So we do have plenty of free space. So in reality, the battery could almost snake up this way. I'd say this particular plastic here is more so for structural rigidity. I do see a CMOS battery underneath the NVMe here drive. But pretty much in this instance here, all I have to do is reconnect the battery, put the back back on. And I'm gonna be reinstalling Windows afresh. I'm gonna be installing Windows 11 on here. And I'll be using the Windows 11 media creation tool to create that. And from there, I can install the machine. Now, if I see how we got this red line on here, we're gonna push that up all the way. So I'll just grab it and pull it. It's now all the way up there. So that is now got the battery, more power back to it. From here, I'm right to put the back cover back on. And from here, we'll have a bit of an upgraded i3 Acer Aspire 5. And that should, even before the customer gets to it, we'll have the upgraded room and the extra speed of that RAM, which 4 gig is not a huge amount. Granted, this was more the budget of the budget kind of machine. There's my red screwdriver. I'm just looking around for that. Now with these screws here, you don't have to be too concerned on where you put them, as they are all, all the same length. So I'm gonna to proceed to put all these screws in here. From here, you may have to push down to click it into position. But I think by the way that this cover sits, you don't really need to worry about doing that. And I'm gonna catch you guys later. So I hope this helps upgrading Acer Aspire 5. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.